Hey you guys, how y'all doing? No eyelashes. If anyone has any tips on good eyelash glue, I wear the strips. I just needed to stay in one at least 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours, perfect for me. But anyway, I'm listening to these motivational videos on YouTube because I need motivation. Now, I suffer with depression and anxiety. Let me turn this down. All right, sorry about that. I had to turn it down a little. So I listen to these videos to as a different um, option to place my energy instead of curling up in a bed, um, crying or wanting to die or not exist or to be invisible. Um, there are other options. Now, I suffer with that really, 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 really bad. Okay, it's passed down to me from my mother and I passed it down to my children. Which brings me to the reason why I just created this video. So, I'm busting suds, y'all. So, um, that's what I'll be doing, washing dishes while I talk. So, my daughter just calls me. She's eight months pregnant. She's not able to work. And... She does have a job. She did have a job, but she's not able to work. Um, the baby and her anxiety is is a whole lot for her. So I'm giving her answers as far as things to do. And I'll share that information with you later. Um, but what bothers me about my daughter calling me crying is that she has already ruled out any answers to her problem. You know, what she can't do. And her options are few. And she's not going to get through it. And whatever else is going through her head. Um, and I'm explaining to her because she's saying she's scared. You know, she has her own place. And she has a baby coming. Everything she's feeling is valid. Let me say that first and foremost. The tears are valid. Her feeling defeated is valid. But you cannot, you cannot give it so much energy that it consumes you. It's a part of the process to help you move forward. It provides... A starting point to start with to fix you have to plant seeds today to have a better tomorrow so I'm explaining to her I am a retailer but I do custom I do custom stuff this is what I offer go to my Facebook page I do custom stuff and this is my business okay Am I making a lot of money? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. But it's part of the business. You got to start somewhere. I was just established in 2021, okay? So I haven't been in business a long time. Um, I haven't even made two years yet. So I'm giving my daughter ideas on things that she can do to make money and to help her. And... Because I don't like the the tears. She's my daughter. There's answers. Nothing is going to be instant right now, this second, today, or tomorrow. But if you plant them seeds, then tomorrow won't be a problem. Because you already know that you got something in the making. Because the way I operate and maneuver with my friends... Is if they place an order with me, I am 100% sure that they're going to pay me regardless if they pay me at the time I pass over their merchandise. Let me say that again. Because I know they're going to pay me, it doesn't bother me because I've planted that seed. And I know that money is going to come when they get their paycheck when they get that bonus, when they get whatever it is that they got coming, and then it hits my account, that's a seed that I planted. What's the point of keeping merchandise on your shelf? Because someone does not have the money, and you know them personally, they could pay you later. 
I mean, everybody, you, you have to learn from somewhere. Everybody may not pay you. That's why I do it with my close friends and my family because I'm going to get my change. Someone new, a friend of a friend, I can't do that. But anyway, the whole point of this video is you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself. Stop this self-doubt. Stop ruling yourself out for any type of um progress because all you see right now is your situation don't let your situation ruin you to the point where you can't even see your future the way you want to see your future the way you want your future to be if you continue to do that you're manifesting on thoughts that are not going to help you. They're going to keep you in the same place because that's where your thoughts are going. That's where your energy is going. I'm, I'm just, I'm just a messenger, and um, from experience, this depression thing is really, really big. It's huge. People take their lives constantly. Um, because they're depressed or they feel defeated or they don't see the answer that's not the answer that's not the answer because what you don't realize while you're taking your life you're affecting so many different people that that are attached to you especially if you have children um, if your parents are alive um, your nieces and nephews you matter whether you, you realize it or not, you matter. And the things that you do is up to you. Stop waiting on somebody to give you approval or to do anything for you. There's so many different options and different things that's out there to help you um, succeed. But there's even more out there to, to make you fail. But the thing is... You gotta start somewhere. And all I'm gonna say to y'all is change your mindset. Don't listen to what everybody got to say negative about what you cannot do, what you can do. Only you can dictate that, you and God. I don't care if it's your mom, I don't care if it's your child, I don't care if it's your best friend, I don't care if it's your husband. If you want to do something and it's positive, going to enhance your life and level you up. I say try it. Try it. If it doesn't work, either try it again and learn from it or move on to something else. But the biggest thing is to try. Open your mind. Surround yourself with like-minded people that are trying to do something and accomplish things. And you'll be surprised at what comes out. Don't cry. Open your mind. That's my cry to you.